To get ahead in life, you have to find the quickest and easiest way to execute on your ideas. So here are some add-ons that will help you do that inside Blender. If you're doing motion tracking, there's a new add-on for motion tracking called Flux Draw that can help you do quite a lot. It can set up the tracking automatically for you, setting up all the tracking points. It tracks faster than the native tracker and also can help you set up things like the floor, walls and objects within your scene quite easily by just using the points that have been tracked to generate meshes for walls, floors, grounds and anything you want, making it easy to place objects within your scenes. Thinking of making a large forest, think Alpha Trees. Alpha Trees uses a trick as old as time when it comes to scattering large dense forests. The trick of textures on a plane that face the camera at all times. A lot of games still use this trick, especially for trees and objects in the far distance. Games switch out all high detail, high poly count assets for textures on a plane with the object as the texture. To speed up rendering and increase frame rates. So it's not surprising that something like that is useful in Blender as well. The time for sending nodes is over. It's time to dress up your character in style. With over a hundred garments to choose from, your character will never feel underdressed with this epic preset cloth pack. The art industry is a competitive industry, so it's paramount that you take advantage of the most powerful tools you can get. And for making landscapes and terrains, never skip a tool like True Terrain. You can generate any type of terrain you want, edit it, add layers and levels of detail with its layer-based system. You can add textures, materials, erosion and more all using one add-on. If you're making cities and I mean really detailed cities, you want to check out this iCity tool that lets you create procedure cities with a lot of detail from roads, streets, pavements. The buildings are really, really detailed. This looks like it was designed by an architect you can add parks and different details to your city. It's a really, really powerful add-on that lets you draw detail after detail to create a dynamic city with street level assets. Uh, so you can use this as a backdrop cityscape in the background or just for close-up shots because it has all that detail if you want an accurate way to render oceans lakes and rivers try this physical open waters add-on you can add as much detail as you want without crushing your computer the physics open waters add-on has a lot of optimization features to make sure that you can render oceans in real time. It can also add form and other effects. If you're trying to animate a bunch of objects with similar behavior, you can try animating them using particle physics. Blender comes with its own particle system, a very powerful system, I might add. But like anything in Blender, you have to start from scratch, which can be time consuming. A quick and more efficient solution is the particle library add-on. This library comes with a number of particle templates for smoke, sparks, buds, papers, leaves, rain, and just about anything you will need for your film. The add-on also comes with a library of animated animals, insects, and birds. Setting up yourself for success is having the right tools for the right job. If you are doing interior design or architectural visualization, having a collection of interior assets like furniture, appliances, utensils, and basically anything that exists in homes and apartments will help you save a lot of time and deliver more than the client expects. So here is a library of all of these assets with high quality textures, well-modeled objects, all modeled at real scale. Being the best artist requires that you use the right tool for the right job, but the 3D world is diverse with a lot of requirements, so having the right tool can be quite difficult. So having a collection of different types of add-ons that do a variety of things can be quite useful. You never know when you need an extra character in your background, but you don't have the energy or time to do that. So having a tool like an AI generator that can generate a character quickly in a few seconds for use in the background can come in handy. That with other add-ons like Auto Painter to easily texture models. There is also a fluid simulation add-on inside the package, a texture generator, an explosion generator, fluid generator, physics simulator, and a lot more included in this package. You can't always be prepared for every project, but having a set of tools like this with diverse functionality will always give you an advantage. If there were add-on awards for the best add-on this year, it would be the city generator. This is a complete city generator from buildings, interiors, 
cars, traffic, roads, street elements, a crowd simulation so that your city feel crowded and busy. So whenever you're working on a project that requires a vibrant city background, the city generator should come in mind. You can easily customize everything from the building heights, the different building blocks, the designs, the structures, how the traffic flows, what direction it flows, and how busy the traffic is or how crowded the city is by just tweaking a few parameters. I like add-ons that fully take over the process of making something like the Prior Sky Pro, which completely takes over the sky and atmosphere creation of any scene. It's like an assistant that helps you generate different skies with a fog system, a day and night system, animated clouds. Everything is customizable. You can change the time of day. You can change the clouds. There are even sky presets so that you don't have to do everything from scratch. Different cloud styles and other things. It's basically a personal assistant for sky generation. If you love explosions and VFX, you should check out this collection of add-ons that includes an explosion generator, a debris generator, fluid simulation tools, melting tools, basically any effect that you can think of uh, when creating VFX is included in this simulation bundle and a lot of other effects that you might want to use in your simulations. By the way, here's a quick update on the geometry nodes course. I've added a new section about creating paint with geometry nodes. Basically, I show you how to, to use geometry nodes to create a procedural paint and brush generator that lets you trace out any logo using uh, a brush and paint. If you want to check it out, links are in the description.